Hello, dear Liftoff fans. We're back with another video about space and SpaceX. Space Exploration Technologies Corporation's SpaceX Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Elon Musk, has apparently shared concerns about his company's engine production in an email sent out to employees last week. SpaceX is currently developing its Starship Next Generation Launch Vehicle System in Boca Chica. This rocket uses different engines than the company's in-service Falcon lineup, and these are the heart of the company's plans for interplanetary exploration, as well as its Starlink satellite internet constant. In the email, Musk concludes by highlighting that his company faces the risk of bankruptcy should it be unable to establish a rapid Starship launch cadence next year. To what extent could that happen? Or is the leaked email just a hoax? Let's find out. Over the holiday weekend, SpaceX employees got a frightening email from CEO Elon Musk, warning them of a looming problem with its Raptor engine production that, if not resolved, may lead to the company's bankruptcy. Employees were pushed to work over the weekend in a frantic bid to improve the manufacturing of the engine that would power the company's next-generation Starship launch vehicle, according to an email acquired by Space Explored, CNBC, and The Verge. This engine is vastly more complicated than the company's Merlin engines for its Falcon rockets since it reuses all of its pre-burner byproducts in the main combustion chamber. In a rocket engine, the pre-burner is the component in which both of the engine's fuel and oxidizer, or one of them, are initially ignited for powering the pumps to drive fuel into the chamber where the combustion takes place to generate thrust. In the Merlin, gases from the pre-burner are exhausted out, while the Raptor reuses them for combustion, a fact which increases its fuel efficiency but makes design, engineering, and production difficult. Musk has previously talked about conducting high-volume Starship flights by 2022, but he and his company are now waiting for the Federal Aviation Agency, FAA, to finish an environmental review of the Texas facilities in order to allow SpaceX to apply for a license to conduct orbital Starship flights. Musk reportedly wrote, Unfortunately, the Raptor production situation is significantly worse than it appeared a few weeks ago, as we probed more into the difficulties following the departure of previous senior management, we discovered that they were significantly more serious than previously disclosed. It's impossible to sugarcoat this. SpaceX did not immediately react to a request for comment from Gizmodo, but Musk did mention the claim on Twitter Tuesday afternoon. The scope of the Starship program is underappreciated, Musk wrote on Twitter. It's designed to extend life beyond Mars and the Moon, which takes a thousand times more payload to orbit than all of Earth's current rockets put together. Musk did not confirm or reject the email's legitimacy, but he did comment on its content, noting that while the bankruptcy was not likely, it was not impossible. Only the paranoid survive, the CEO allegedly wrote, quoting Intel founder and former CEO Andrew Grove. Musk recommended employees to cut their holiday weekend short and called for all hands on deck to recover from what is quite plainly a disaster in his email. Musk summarized the issue by stating that if Starship flights are not operational once every two weeks by 2022, the company will suffer insolvency. If this all seems familiar, it's because Musk has already spoken publicly about periods when both SpaceX and Tesla were on the edge of going bankrupt. Musk has stated that Tesla was only single digits away from bankruptcy as recently as 2018. The Raptor's engine is an important part of Starship, which SpaceX plans to use to transport cargo and passengers to the Moon and Mars in the future. The capacity of Starship to achieve these lofty objectives is vital to SpaceX's long-term success, which is predicated on Elon Musk's promise of multi-planetary human exploration. Starship will also play a key role in launching Starlink's next-generation satellites into orbit, according to Musk's email. Musk's agitated email comes after the CEO stated in a tweet earlier this month that the Raptor 2 will require a major design rework to allow for multi-planetary existence. According to CNBC, two SpaceX vice presidents abruptly quit the firm not long after. Will Heltzley, one of those executives, had been with the company since 2009 and was working on the Raptor project when he was fired owing to a lack of progress. The troubling news comes at the the end of an otherwise successful year for SpaceX. SpaceX is important for many reasons. 
In just over a year, SpaceX has launched 25 Falcon 9 flights, launched a dozen astronauts into space, and established a path to broad commercialization with its Starlink satellite internet service. Furthermore, the Raptor engine is for deep space exploration, which is crucial for bringing humans to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. A $300 million contract with NASA was also awarded to SpaceX for its lunar missions. Is the leaked Elon Musk bankruptcy email a hoax? There is nothing in Musk's email that implies a Raptor production crisis could pose any serious harm to SpaceX beyond annoying delays. More than two years ago, Musk believed that Raptor V1.0 already cost less than $1 million to produce. As of 2021, SpaceX, again per Musk, is completing an average of one Raptor engine every two days and currently has 35 functional engines installed on Starship and Super Heavy booster prototypes in Boca Chica, Texas. Already at a rate of one engine every 48 hours, SpaceX's Raptor production capabilities are theoretically strong enough to fully outfit a significant Starship fleet. Musk says that SpaceX will only face the risk of bankruptcy if it cannot achieve a Starship flight rate of at least once every two weeks next year, equivalent to 26 launches annually. Again, being deceived for years would be a terrible look, but nothing described above appears to have any chance of bankrupting SpaceX. However, the CEO also says that SpaceX is spooling up one of several factories to produce several million Starlink user terminals, dishes, per year in a process that will consume massive capital and assumes that Starlink V2 satellites will be on orbit to handle the bandwidth demand. He even goes as far as to say that those millions of terminals will be useless otherwise. Once again, while what he describes as an undeniable hurdle for SpaceX, the company is making a choice to consume massive capital to spool up Starlink dish factories before the constellation capacity needed to take advantage of those dishes has been secured. SpaceX doesn't need to make such a massive investment so quickly when it could instead split that money with Starship, ensure that Starship and Raptor and Starlink V 2.0 satellites are ready or close to ready for routine launches, and then invest heavily in dish production. Put simply, the only way SpaceX could ever go bankrupt in the near term would be by consciously letting itself drown in a sea of life preservers. This is not to say that SpaceX doesn't have numerous massive challenges ahead of it, nor is it to say that its fundraising potential is truly limitless. And that concludes today's episode. I hope you liked the video. If so and want to see more about space and SpaceX, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button. Thank you very much for watching. Keep yourselves healthy and safe until we meet next time.